The struggle for a decent living worsened by the lack of basic amenities like portable water and electricity in Wulumo community, a settlement which is a stone throw from the Abuja International Airport. <laughs> Years of neglect by the government towards the exasperating conditions found here has compelled more people to register their complaints. Um. After walking miles just to get access to water, Macfred Udenze, a resident pastor here, shares some disturbing stories. This is the only water they have and that is the only water they drink. If you take it, the next thing is to be urinating blood. So these are the major challenges we have, water and that of light. I have written to the Amak Shaman three times. No reply. I've written to Philip Adudua, the FCT senator, you know, leading me is one uh, custom officer that was posted here then, and all of no avail. 54-year-old chief of Wulumo, Agura Mohammed, now retired, expresses profound concerns through his son over the uneven treatment they are subjected to by politicians. <laughs> Apparently, there is a gross lack of compliance to the COVID-19 protocols, and incidentally, there are neither cases nor deaths. Wulumo community, famous for its lack of health facilities, power supply, good roads and schools, ironically sits just opposite the presidential wing of the Inamdi Azikiwe International Airport. We are close to presidential where our president diverting to anywhere you want to go. Why do no one give us light for this place? When Channels Television contacted the Abuja Municipal Area Council, Mr. Andrew Gaza, head of Department Works, who declined to speak on camera, but said provision for water and electricity has been made for the community in the 2021 budget. <laughs> Challenges like this reflect the long-time negligence of the government towards this section of people in, in a democratic setup, which clearly questions the ongoing development process by the government, which clearly leaves a lot to be desired. From Wulumo Community, here in the FCT, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.